Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Daisy, and I hope you guys like today's video. Okay guys, I know, I know, I'm stupid late to this, but today I'm gonna be doing my first impressions on the Super State from Maybelline. I don't know if you guys can see that really well because of the glow yeah. there. And also, I'm going to be trying the LA Girl Pro Concealer for my bags. I don't know if you can tell on the camera, but in person, I look like death. And also, I'm going to be trying the Ecos Tools Sponge. It's infused with antimicrobial silver. This is basically a blender for the body, but we're going to be using it on the face today. Okay, so... Now I'm gonna wet the sponge. <gasps> this is a big sponge. It's dense. It's definitely huge compared compared to my real techniques. And this is dry. They're both dry. And then my Morphe one too. <gasps> Look how tiny that is. So I'm gonna try to shake it a little bit before I put it on. Cause I know some products, if you don't shake it and then you squeeze it, like there, it's like watery first and then it blends in with the product and it just looks, it just doesn't look right. I know everyone's probably already seen this. I'm late to everything. Yes, I know. I'm gonna go ahead and wet the sponge before I put anything on because I don't know if it dries quick or not. So to avoid that, we're gonna just put wet this first. <sighs> okay, so look how big it got. Like this is like more than half of my face. In the water, it got like the color of the sponge. <gasps> Next time I should definitely read the labels because this is definitely for your body, but I'm still gonna use it for my face just to try it out. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and apply this concealer. Go ahead and just apply it with the applicator that I came with rather than a flat brush. <laughs> to blend this out and then it's gonna get the color on there so call me crazy but I don't like the morphe sponge at all like it just feels so hard so I'm just gonna go ahead and use it to blend it out the um to blend out the corrector okay now we're gonna blend it out and see if none of it like goes away <laughs> throw this away now we're gonna go ahead and try out the foundation so I am gonna apply some in the back of my hand before I put it on so I just put a full pump and it's not really that watery it's going down slowly foundation does say it is full coverage up to 24 hour wear, seamless, seamless matte finish, breathable and comfortable, fade and transfer resistant and doesn't clog pores, dermatologist tested. So the color that I got is the natural beige 220. Use this big ass sponge. So I was gonna use this flat side, but it's too big and I don't wanna get it dirty that quick. So we're just going to use the butt of it. So it will 
looks like a decent match. Let me see. Yeah, it looks like a good match. I do look a little bit orange though. It does look a little bit orange on my face. Or maybe it's just a lighting. But we can fix it right now with concealer and bronzer. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so the sponge is definitely taking in a lot of the product. Like, I can tell, like, I know I haven't used this foundation before, but it's definitely the sponge. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab another sponge, my Real Technique sponge. I don't know why I thought I could do it without her. It feels so soft, too. Like, it just feels soft. Probably not... A yeah, it's not as soft as my Real Techniques one, but it's definitely a lot softer than the Morphe one. And a lot of people love the Morphe one, which, you know, we love it. Keep using it. I'm going to put more on the back of my hand, just half a pump more. And then grabbing the sponge. <laughs> lighter it's not a garbage sponge it's just definitely it's not. for the body definitely not for the face so the sponge already tore apart and i don't know if that's because i took it out the package or or because i got made of hands okay so without powder or anything else on my face besides the foundation it looks really good, but this color is definitely not my shade. I'm probably gonna go a, I probably need to go a shade lighter. So I'm gonna do checkups throughout the day. I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of my face on, powder, bronzer, and finish my eyes. And then I will keep you guys updated on later on throughout the night. And right now it is 7.38. Okay, so I finished the rest of my face off of camera, and as far as the sponge goes, it eats up all the product, basically, I feel like when I did it with the Real Techniques brush, a little went a long way. And as far as the foundation goes, it looks really good. Yeah, I really like it. I like the finish of it, even with the powder on. Um... I don't have anything bad to say about it, just that I need to get my actual shade. I'm about to go out and do a few things because it's date night. I'll be back and show you guys how I held up for a few hours. Of course, I'm going to wear the foundation for 24 hours, but I'll be back with an update. Okay, so we decided to stay in tonight instead of going out. So we're gonna go pick up some snacks and just stay in. But I also keep you guys updated and everything looks fine so far. Even though it's just been like 10 minutes, but it still looks good. Kroger and we got a chicken salad, but we got two different brands we got this one and another brand of chicken salad but we don't remember what chicken salad we got last time so we just picked up both of them and it was pretty good i'm hoping it's this one because it's the first one we opened and we got these pretzel crisps guys when i tell you these are fire they're fire like i will never taste another pretzel the same like these are it these are it sis so this is my final update um i look so beat up right now when i tell you 
this foundation has been through everything it's been through everything i got rained on i cried a little because my son busted my lip yes my son i showered him so you know he smothered my face a little bit and yeah i it's been through everything girl so even my lashes are off that's how you know it's been a long day a long what like three four hours maybe because it's like seven it's a lot why the fuck am i getting sound from it's 11 30 so probably yeah four four ish hours that i've been wearing this already and i'm tired so the foundation overall looks amazing like it looks good the only thing is my smile lines. There's already a little bit of creases there. But a lot of my foundations honestly do that. Nothing new. Mm, it didn't oxidize throughout the day either. At least not what I've noticed at all. It hasn't oxidized. Mm, and it looks pretty good everything looks good like i don't look oily at all my son was playing with me and he puts his little hands on my face so honestly for all the playing that you know we did there's really it looks really good honestly like like the like eyeshadow came off a little bit right here but yeah, it looks really good, guys. I honestly recommend this foundation. It's really good. As far as um, the LA Girl for my under eyes, um, I feel like you can still see my bags a little bit. Probably not on camera, but I know definitely in person you can still see my bags. Um, Yeah, so I would still wear the LA Girl. Probably just, you know, I don't know, try something different different sponge, different concealer. We'll see, maybe I can make it work. But I really did like it. And I did like the foundation as well. I'm gonna continue using the foundation. Maybe, you know, since it's summer, I might get a little bit of tan and I don't have to go out and switch it. But I actually really like the foundation. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here and i hope you guys enjoy this i know it's kind of like off kind of like a makeup tutorial slash vlogish well not really but it was just something different and let me know if you guys like it or if you guys want to see something else or more product reviews just let me know down in the comments below and go ahead and like and subscribe to my channel and yeah